for joining us on Wake Up America. Students graduating college nowadays not only have a fear of not finding a good paying job, but also the burden of having to pay back thousands of dollars in student loans. A recent study surveyed more than 30,000 graduates about their life after college. What was found wasn't a surprise. Student loan debt isn't just hurting college graduates financially, it is also having a negative impact on their overall well-being. Essentially, college graduates with more than $40,000 in debt were found less likely to start a business, reported being less happy and not thriving in most areas of their lives. However, those who graduated without any student loan debt were seven times more likely to be happy and felt a sense of purpose within their community. Researchers found that students believed that colleges would help prepare graduates for not only great jobs, but great lives. However, too few graduates recall having had those experiences. It is not a shock that students are worried about finding a job and paying back their student loans. How can they find a job when free trade agreements in place are shipping and outsourcing all of our jobs overseas? Free trade means unrestricted, uncontrolled access to our economy, tariff and duty free, for goods made for $4 per hour or less. We cannot compete with these wages, so we are forced to go bankrupt, outsource all of our jobs, or simply sell out. The jobs that are available and abundant are jobs in the service industry, such as those like food places, retail stores, and janitorial services. But with the average student loan debt at nearly $30,000, these jobs are simply not enough to pay back the student loans and be able to lead a decent life. Solutions are out there. We're just not doing anything about it. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren has introduced legislation in the Senate which tackles college debt. Her bill would allow people holding student loans financed at a rate higher than today's current rates to refinance these loans, similar to the way one refinances a home mortgage or a car loan. It would also allow those with private student loans to refinance their debt under the Federal Direct Loan Program, which would be funneled back into our economy. Another option could be to just forgive the enormous debt for the millions of disillusioned college graduates. Iceland, for example, was faced with the possibility of complete financial failure after having implemented a similar banking structure as we have now in the United States. However, it systematically failed in 2008 and had no other option but to completely forgive large debts and let people start over from square one. By forgiving debt, Iceland's economy has recovered and is actually growing faster than both the U.S. and other European economies. Call your representatives in Washington and ask them what they are doing to fight student loan debt. For more news and information, Log on to economyincrisis.org.